All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today, I'm gonna start packing uh, my apartment here in lovely Yokosuka, Japan. And uh, what I wanna do with this particular video is just kinda show the, uh, the progression in uh, me packing up everything. So, uh, the, in the first little bit, I'll show you guys how it is before I even start packing. I haven't packed yet. So I'm just gonna show you guys the uh, my room and stuff as is, and then uh, later on we'll progress and uh, I'll kind of show you like, oh, this is packed up and this is where it is now, and like I said, just show you the progression and everything. So in the next bit, I'll give you a little tour of my room here, and uh, I'll also I also plan on showing other rooms as well, but uh, my roommate's out there packing too, so I just want to kind of kind of keep his privacy and all that kind of stuff. So that said, see you in the next bit. Okay, let's start at the door. Uh, I gotta remove those little pasty thingies. Uh, there's my flag for climbing Mount Fuji, even though it didn't go all the way up, but yeah, let's look at the little things. My acoustic guitar, uh, there's my bed, which takes up the vast majority of my bedroom, that's the name. So, um, here's just a little look at some of the stuff that I have and things like that. So, there you go. There's some of my stuffed animals that I picked up from time to time over the years. There's Pikachu, uh, Totoro, Tomokun, a uh, little Pinkie Pie doll that my friend Sean made for me, uh, Jibayan, which is from Yokai Watch, a uh, Golden Retriever Beanie Baby that was in a, uh, a care package that I got a couple years back. Hiding behind Daibutsu here is the Rei Ayanami Hello Kitty. Um, you got like little guitar picks and other random little doodads and things like that. And that's not a can of coffee. That's actually a speaker that you can plug in. I got it for a uh, Georgia uh, promotional item. So it's got characters from Georgia's Bizarre Adventure. And you got meds and, you know, some headphones, wallet, all that kind of stuff. Boring. Whatever. <laughs> then you got uh, my, that's not my alarm clock per se. It's just an, a spare clock that I use. So like if it's late at night and I don't want my cell phone you know, to light up, check the time, and just hit the button, bam, 1142. And it also has like the temperature and stuff like that. And I'll hit it again so you guys can see, hopefully, the camera can focus, there you go. Cool. Then I got my random uh, vitamins and things like that. So that's a uh, thing called for Focus Formula. It helps with the uh, brain activity, and it also has, you know, some B vitamins and stuff to kind of, you know, help get you up in the morning. Then you got milk thistle over there, which is good for the liver. Uh, vitamin D, which is great for depression. I gotta say, it's a good all natural remedy for that. Then you got melatonin, which helps me get to sleep. My sleeping mask. There's the CD that uh, Marty Friedman signed, even though it's kind of smudged and you can't really see the signature, but it's back there. So, um, and you got various military memorabilia you got a mug from the USS Lassen some mugs and stuff that I was collecting when I first got here uh, that one's from Red Ribbon that one's from Yoshinoya that's a Gundam mug that I got from the Gundam Cafe out in Akihabara and then moving on up you got some alcohol <laughs> things like that and you got some coins here so right here is the USS Lassen coin right here is the decommissioning coin for the USS Kurtz and then there's a uh, coin for the uh, Mikasa, Japanese battleship Mikasa. Then there's another coin I got from Camp Fuji, and a half dollar. And then another coin, I think that was, that was one I got for climbing Mount Fuji. And donating to the uh, World Heritage Fund to help keep it a nice, wonderful place. And then up here is kind of a random assortment of doodads and all kinds of uninteresting things. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a, uh, a smell guy, you know, so I like to keep my room smelling fresh. So I got some Febreze. This is the one I got at Don Quixote, Alaskan Springtime. This is actually one of my favorite scents, but uh, linen in the sky, yeah, it's okay too. <laughs> and then in the Japanese summertime, it's kind of gross, but in the Japanese summertime, it gets very hot, very sticky, very moist, as it were. So uh, to prevent like, you know, athlete's foot and just sweaty feet in general, definitely recommend getting some foot powder, especially in the summertime, because it gets a little sticky. So, and then there's some wipes, a little Goomba I got from uh, Crumb in Japan, Dustin Kramer, 
before he moved back to the States. So that was a little cool little thing. And just some random, uh, you know, audio video cables and stuff like that, just random stuff. And then this is my uh, soundproof little thing. And sadly, I didn't really get to use it all that much while I was here, just because it's so big and it kind of interferes with the desk setup, which we'll get to here in a bit. But uh, hopefully back in the States, I'll have a little more a little more room to work with, so I'm hoping to incorporate it a bit more. And then uh, there's a camera box covered in dust. Don't mind that. Solar cane, good for the... Uh, Honky McWhite White like myself. Got some gifts. Ooh, don't look at them. They're gifts. <laughs> you can't really see them though. And then you got my Geeters, my Gweeters, guitars. Uh, they're in the cases right now, but there's my uh, Eddie Van Halen Shark guitar. Here, I'll open it up real quick just to show you guys. You guys a little, little peek inside. See, there's the Eddie Van Halen Shark guitar. And then you have a uh, my $100 Les Paul. It's an Epiphone Les Paul, but uh, I got this for uh, $100 roughly. Actually, I think it's a little less considering the exchange rate, but it's a lovely Epiphone Les Paul classic plain top. You can kind of see it in there. Sorry for the, the bad camera angles and stuff. I'm just trying to get through this video. So I got that for $100. Plays great, sounds great. Then you got here my lovely Fool uh, Dialagaff, which is in a various state of disrepair at the moment because I'm kind of uh, tinkering with it and switching out the bridge and the pickups and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, I'm looking to change that soon. So then you got random ass clothes pile and uh, switching over here. You got my uh, backpack and of course, the ever lovely chill box my uh, first ever custom built pc that i made myself and then you got my desk so i have a logitech mouse logitech keyboard which also has its own little mouse pad too just in case that guy dies or whatever the case may be i got my little beverage cooler here on the side it's usb powered pretty nice actually not gonna lie then i got my my little sound system is sanwa it's not too bad, especially for the price. An Acer monitor, Logitech camera, stuff like that. And I recently got these bad boys, the Audio-Technica ATH-8500X headphones. These are pretty nice, not gonna lie. And then, just got a whole mishmash of things up here in the closet, you know, I got my kangaroo hat, kitsune mask, you know, various smelly things. <laughs> And a bunch of other stuff you can't really see because it's dark. Then uh, I got some new things too that I'm hoping to debut when I get back and just uh, laundry and all kinds of stuff. And look, boxes, which I'm going to use to pack up my stuff. And it's kind of blocking the shelf at the moment, but uh, I'll kind of peel them back just so I can show you guys the shelf. So I got a uh, random assortment of stuff up here. I got like manga and books and stuff like that here. And I got uh, DVDs and stuff like that down there. I got some computer programs, and cameras, and other assorted goodies. There's my tripod. So there you have it. All right, so in the next bit, you'll see the room a little more packed up, a little bit neater, hopefully. You know, maybe a little less stuff, if anything. So yeah, see you the next bit. All right, so the movers are here, and they're just in the middle of setting up stuff in the living room but i just want to show you guys how far they've come with uh, my bedroom so they've boxed up pretty much everything there's my bed the frame and stuff like that and so this is all kind of bare bones right now so it's pretty crazy with my clothes and here's the uh second room where i've kind of taking shelter for the time being. There's some other stuff from my room. Yeah, this is the second room, so. Yeah, got some boxes, some trash, things like that. And there's, there's all my stuff. So that's all the stuff I'm gonna be taking with me to, uh, to Washington and then eventually back home. So it's just got some clothes, random toiletries and stuff, and then my computer and the cameras. And my tablet, all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Own stuff, man. Own stuff. Okay, so uh, 
Moves are still uh, moving some things, but uh, here's kind of the progress of the uh, the main living room at the moment. So we got the couch kind of propped up here. I guess they're gonna come back up and get it. My bike, uh, computer uh, boxes and other things. Seems like they haven't touched the bathroom. That's kind of weird. And then again, here's my room. <laughs> Sands boxes. I got some picks and stuff on the floor I gotta pick up. And I definitely, definitely gonna need a vacuum to clean up all this stuff. And there's the wheelie part of my uh, my chair. Various other little things. And then I uh, picked up some boxes from inside the second room as well. So they got, actually yeah, they got all the boxes. The rest of them are just kind of extras and stuff like that. So that's the uh, current update at the moment. There's a lovely Sarashima or Monkey Island. Let me zoom in real quick. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys. So the movers finally left. And uh, I want to give you guys a little tour of the uh, deconstructed apartment. So um, obviously they left the sprays because you can't take uh, compressed gas and stuff, I guess, for whatever reason. So. Uh, they left this because it's kind of gross and stuff, so I have to clean that up. Has uh, paperwork, and I'm just like starting to move some stuff from the spare room to my room. So, yeah, they took all the stuff, and I'm just gonna move all my stuff back into my room. And uh, yeah, looking in here, no more washer dryer setup. You know, obviously they left all the soaps and stuff because can't take that. Took all the toiletries, good. And uh, yeah, well, this actually looks pretty much the same because all of this is, you know, just soaps and stuff. But. And out here, no TV, no couch, no nothing pretty much, just bare bones. Um, I have to figure out a way to throw the rest of the stuff out. Um, I just couldn't take oils either. And then here, we got the tatami back because I, I decided to take the carpet because I figure. I might be able to do something with it back in the States, I'm not sure yet, but I figured I'll just take it rather than, you know, not have it, so. And uh, there's my roommate's stuff, what's left of it. He already moved the majority of his stuff out, but yeah, it's all pretty, uh, pretty bare bones at the moment. So uh, I'll just uh, have the weekend to uh, clean up. And then on Monday, I turn in the keys. Oh yeah. And, left the router and stuff so I can turn that in later. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. All right guys, so um, just finishing up cleaning here at my apartment and today is the last day that I'll be here in my spiffy apartment here in Yokosuka, Japan. And uh, I'm still in the middle of moving some trash but I wanted to give you guys one last look at my apartment. It's, aside from the trash, pretty bare bones. So check it out. Okay, so here's from the door, and there's some trash and stuff I gotta take out. There's some clothes, and then other miscellaneous things over there, and I gotta throw away the futon. Here's a spare room, the aircon. Lovely view, a little closet. But yeah, you can slide out to the balcony, which I'm not gonna do, because I'm kinda crunched for time at the moment. There's Sarashima. One last little look before I head out. Lovely. Yeah, and then moving on. Uh, here's my old room. Right here, this is the closet. That's where my computer was, bed, a bunch of other stuff. But now it's all, it's all bare bones. Then here is the toilet. Water closet, nothing up there really. Just pretty much bare bones. Then bathroom with no washer dryer. I took that out yesterday. No anything. And there's the tub. There's some shower units. All that stuff. There's me. <laughs> so. yeah. And I gotta take this stuff out as well. And uh, here's the tatami room. It's kind of whatever. Um, another view of the ocean from here. Sarashima again. And uh, that's walking around and uh, there's all the trash 
but I gotta move downstairs. So uh, this is gonna take me a minute, but you know, it's all in good fun. I just wanted to stop, take a breather to record this uh, quick little last update here from my apartment in Yokosuka, Japan before I move on. So there you go. So yeah, that was the last little look here at my lovely apartment here in Yokosuka, Japan. And uh, in the next little bit, uh, we'll show you something different. So yeah, stay tuned. You know, some days, just gotta sit back, take inventory on yourself, and think, I can't be doing this the rest of my life. I gotta be a man. Gotta do something else. Gotta move on to something else. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to make this video say thanks for uh, following me on my adventures here in Japan through my Andy Japandi series for the past two, almost two and a half years. And I want to thank you guys for tuning into my adventures in the U.S. Navy for the past five and a half years as well. And if you've been following me even longer, for you old school followers, for fo I want, want to thank you especially for uh, following me these past nine and a half years, almost at the 10 year mark now. So that's it. I'm sitting here by Japanese battleship the Mikasa in Mikasa Park, <laughs> signing off for the last time here in lovely Yokosuka for now. I might come back to Japan, but uh, nothing's in the works yet, so uh, we'll see. But for now, this is the Andy san Signing for now. Awesome. <laughs> Thanking you guys for uh, tuning into my videos as always and for being there for me when I needed it and uh, for watching my other stuff. And I also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, and sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we will see you next time. Get you there, guys. Bye. See you in America. <laughs> Bye.